Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Also, welcome if you are new. I am super excited about today's video. It is full of a ton of motivation in today's video, but it's also just a realistic, like super realistic day in the life style video. I am an everyday mom of three, and this is what my day looks like on a typical weekday. Now, obviously, there may be some things that I don't do every single day, and it's just what I had on the list for today, and you'll see that later. Um, but for the most part, it's just my typical everyday getting things done little routine. So I know people asked me in my last morning routine video if the kids eat breakfast. So the boys actually have the option at school to have a school breakfast. My kids have never been huge breakfast eaters. Um, I'm honestly not either. Like, give me my coffee and I am good. But once I get home from dropping the kids off, I always have to go out and deal with all the birds, make sure they have their food and everything. Um, so this morning I did check for eggs. I've been checking every single morning since they start laying between six and eight weeks and they are currently seven weeks old. Um, actually on the day you're seeing this is them hitting seven weeks and they did not have any eggs on this day. However, two days after I filmed this, I finally got my first egg. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that and I was so giddy and excited about them laying their first egg. It's like a proud mama moment. So I have been getting a ton of questions about the birds um, and one of the big things is what am I feeding them? So when they're first hatched, I feed them the Purina game bird starter. But after that, this is actually from a local feed store. So they make their feed fresh and I just enjoy going local. And the great thing is, is me and my mom will order at the same time. That way we only have to make one trip. They do have a minimum amount that you have to get so that's why we go in it together we did notice though that one of the younger birds does have rye neck which is what just like a tweak in his neck um so unfortunately that is not good he seems to be or she we don't know what the younger birds are but it seems to be fine with it but unfortunately is something that is a good chance it'll cause issues in the future but then I go inside and I relax for a while and I watch some YouTube and just chill on the couch and slowly wake up. We do your hair. No. But you got crazy bed head. No. no. Freya. Are you still sleepy? Freya will often sleep in fairly late. However, lately she has been getting up um, right about when I take the kids to school. Usually not long after I get home, she's waking up, which is unusual. Normally she is a late sleeper, um, but now I'm just putting her hair up. Her hair has gotten so long. Luckily though, she is really good with me doing her hair. I have done her hair since she was itty itty ba bitty baby um, because you always hear those horror stories of little girls that scream when they get their hair done and I didn't want that situation with her. So I have done her hair since she was 
tiny. Pretty much since I could get a ponytail in her hair, I've been doing her hair. So she sits really well for me when I do this and she actually enjoys it. She often asks me to do her hair, to get her hair out of her face. Um, and I enjoy it. I enjoy just like her hair is so pretty that it's something that whenever I brush it, I don't know. I think it's just a mom thing. It also reminds me of when I was little because her hair color is very much what my hair looked like when I was younger before my hair got fairly dark after I hit puberty. Now, I've said this before, and I will say it again. Freya is not a big meal eater. Um, she eats a lot. She, like, eats nonstop, but she is a grazer. So she'll have a little bit here, a little bit there. But one thing I know is she absolutely loves smoothies. So this is a great way to get um, some nutrition in her right away in the morning. So I do it fairly simple and I kind of just go with whatever's in the house. The other day she had fresh berries. Today I gave her a banana with some yogurt. Um, it just really depends on what's in the house to how I make her smoothies, but she really, really enjoyed it. And then she also wanted some bread. I get that bread from Walmart that is mostly cooked, but you still put it in the oven for like 10 minutes to finish cooking it and heat it up. And she loves that stuff. Not going to lie, her entire family loves that stuff. So that is what she's doing for her first meal of the day is just a smoothie and a little bit of bread. If you couldn't tell, she was a little excited for Daddy adding a little bit extra special stuff to the top of her smoothie, and she downed this thing. Like I said, she absolutely loves her smoothies. It is one good way to make sure she gets a lot of nutrition right away in the morning. So I have to say, I give a lot of credit to people that do these daily vlogs on the regular. I'm so used to like my cleaning content or DIYs and projects that these day in the lives, which I know you guys absolutely love, um, they're, they're difficult, mainly because like I have to actually think about having my camera around, um, which normally isn't a thing. Normally I'm just going about my daily stuff and if I'm filming a cleaning thing, like that is all planned out. I usually have like an idea of exactly what I'm filming. Um, where on this day, I was really just winging it. And like always, there's always cleaning to be done in this house. I try and clean as I go. I will say that is probably the biggest difference that you see from like a day in the life compared to a typical cleaning video is this kind of shows you more of like 
cleaning throughout the day what needs to get done. Um, where if I'm filming a cleaning video and I wake up and the kitchen is dirty, I'm not going to clean it right away if I know I'm going to film it. Um, where on just a typical day, I will clean the kitchen probably about three or four times a day, which sounds insane and like a lot, but really it's just maintaining and keeping up with it so it never feels overwhelming. Um, so that, I think that's the biggest difference of what you see from a cleaning video to like a normal day in the life is it's not done once a day. It's done multiple times a day, but it's smaller projects. So it's very maintainable and not overwhelming. And that's same with like the family room and everything else. I don't clean it once. It's usually picking up this or wiping down that throughout the entire day. You gonna open it? Yeah. Or is it locked? Ferrari loves watermelon. Ferrari's the white face. And then the other white. One right there, that's Lambo. So when it comes to the Muscovies, I always wait to give them treats or food or anything till the kids are around because as you can see, they love it. Either Freya or when the boys get home from school. Luckily, the ducks have gotten way friendlier as they've gotten older and used to us. Heading over to mom and dad's quick because mom has let me borrow her small muffin tins because she has so many of them. But she has a big order for something at the coffee shop. Um, so even though she has two of those smaller ones plus a bigger one of those, it's a big enough order that she asked if I could bring over these just to make getting the order ready um, easier. So that is what I'm doing real quick. Bobby was cutting the backyard when I left and Freya was playing outside while he cut the backyard. So I'm just gonna do this. It is 11 o'clock, kind of give you guys an idea on time. Um, so I have plenty of time to go over here, talk and chit chat with mom for a little bit and then head back um, before getting the kids from school, so. That is what I'm doing. So after getting back from mom and dad, I noticed that Bobby had cut all the wood that I wanted him to cut. We are making these raised um, flower beds so that we can start gardening. You guys know I've said I'm trying to get to be more self-sufficient in our house. Um, and just a more ethical way of taking care of my family. So gardening is next on our list now there's not a ton of really good stuff you can plant in the summer here in florida but our thought was get these garden beds put together that way we can start um, building up the soil to be more nutritious fertilized everything like that and have a really good start to the fall when that comes around and we can plant all the goodies these pavers though are awesome. It's literally like Lincoln logs slide together so easy. Um, and then Bobby just put some rebar in that way they don't shift. I saw these on TikTok and knew that this was exactly the way I wanted to do it when we did our garden beds. Oh, Bobby just brought in the UPS package. I'm excited about this. This is for a project I have coming up. I have a couple small projects around the house that I want to do and this is for one of them 
I'm not going to tell you what it's for, but I'm going to show you it. Just a little sneak peek of what this is. But like I said, I'm not going to tell you what I'm using it for. This is not as easy one-handed. There we go. Got all these pretty peel and stick tiles. So this will be in a future project. So keep your eyes peeled for these. But I think they are so pretty. Now I am just quickly grabbing myself some lunch. Like I said, I'm not a big breakfast person. However, usually when about one o'clock I start getting hungry, I love a really good feta pasta salad in the summer. So I have this right in the fridge. It is so good and so fresh. And when it's like 80 something degrees outside, I absolutely love love it. Also, if you've been following me on Instagram, you already know what those tiles are for. Friday's video is jam-packed full of little projects I've been wanting to get done around the house. So make sure you, if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe and have your notification bell on because Friday's video is full of a lot. Like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, you already saw part of one of the projects, but I had like three different projects I wanted to get done this week and I was luckily able to get them all done and they are all going to be in that video. Um, but now Bobby is just quickly brushing Drake. As you can see, the dogs do not mind being brushed at all. We have this cool little vacuum brush that we found on Amazon and it works so good. It also has a shears connection. So we used that on Bailey earlier. So it's been a couple hours because I got the boys from school and I was exhausted. Freya was sleeping on the couch and I laid down next to her and I passed out. So, it's about, I think it's like 4.30 right now. So yeah, we've had a couple hours pass because this mom was tired. Did you have a good nap? Yes. Yes, do you sleep good? Yeah, we both just woke up. So, like I said, real life, realistic. I was not planning on taking a nap today, but I did. I just passed out, and I am not usually one to sleep in the afternoon. But on this day, like, I could not keep my eyes open at all. Um, but I am now just whipping up dinner. I saw this recipe for, I think they called it Marry Me Chicken or something like that. Um, and it seems simple enough that I wanted to try it out. So we prefer dark meat. So I'm using boneless, skinless chicken thighs um, and just seasoning them as well as some flour with salt, pepper, and garlic, keeping it fairly simple. Um, like I said, this recipe looked really, really simple to put together. And I already had all the ingredients at home. So it was kind of a no brainer to make this for dinner. This was my first time making it and I will say it is definitely something I will make again. The kids seem to enjoy it and Bobby and I really enjoyed it and I think I had it put together in about 30 minutes. So after getting everything seasoned, we're just lightly flouring the chicken. It's not like a full-on fried chicken situation. It's just a light covering, um, which is really good. It just gave it a little bit more texture and everything. I do think you could possibly skip this step, especially if you had skin on chicken, um, and just get the skin a little crispy to get that same texture. Um, but I'm just going off of what I saw online for this first time. And 
And either way, I think it turned out really good. And like I said, quick, easy, simple. Um, don't worry, I am washing my hands in between. <laughs> I always get those people that freak out because I don't show myself always washing my hands. 100%, I am washing my hands also. You can do whatever you like. You don't have to be ready. You just gotta trust the right. Don't have to be scary. You just gotta follow the light. You're able to be happy. You can do whatever you like. So I am someone that tries to clean as I cook as much as possible. So you're going to see that a lot throughout this. Um, once again, I'm just trying to show more realistic. Often when I show these recipes, I just show the recipe and not all that in between. But I thought it'd be a good just kind of show you how I cook and how I go about things. So as the oil was heating up, I just quickly wiped down the cutting board, especially since I knew I was going to need the cutting board again to cut up this onion. So it just makes sense to try and work while other things are still being prepped. So if I'm waiting for the chicken to brown, that's when I'm gonna cut my onion or um, do a little bit of cleaning while the oil's heating up, anything like that. I just try and work in a process to save me as much time as possible. Like I said, this was a way that it took me about 30 minutes to make this meal and considering I took a nap on this day, I definitely needed to work quick because all the kids were getting hungry. So once you have browned the chicken on both sides, I did flip it again to let it the first side get a little bit browner. I wasn't completely happy with the coloring on it, um, but don't worry about the chicken being cooked all the way through at this point because you are going to put it back in the sauce and let it simmer for a while and then it finish cook it. Duh, I can't talk. It finishes cooking in the sauce. So you're mainly just looking to get it most of the way cooked here um, and then it will finish in the sauce. But adding some butter to the pan and scraping up all those drippings from the chicken, that is a way to get a lot of flavor emerged into any of your recipes. Um, but then I'm gonna add onions and garlic to this and let that just kind of simmer until the onions get soft and the garlic gets very fragrant. Also, if you guys have been here for a while, you already know this, but if you are new here, um, I apologize. I am someone that eyeball cooks. I measure with my heart and throw stuff together. Like if I see a recipe online that I think looks good, I just kind of wing it and throw it together to make it look right. Um, <laughs> I am not someone that is very precise in my cooking. It's actually why I love cooking over baking. I feel like baking, you don't have a lot of wiggle room where when it comes to cooking, I can just kind of, like I said, wing it. Uh, but once all that gets fragrant, I take some of the flour that I breaded the chicken in to thicken this up. And then I'm going to add some chicken stock and milk, I did not have any cream or whole milk, so I'm just using 2%. I'm pretty sure in the video they said to use heavy cream. Did not have that on hand, and that is also why I added the flour. They did not say to add the flour, but like I said, I didn't have any heavy cream, so I figured this was a good way to thicken it up. 
Um, but then I'm also going to add some sun-dried tomatoes, which 100% is something, a step you do not want to miss. It adds so much pretty color and flavor. It is so good. But I personally love sun-dried tomatoes. I always have them in the house. I think they are great on just a baguette in the, af in the afternoon or in almost any recipe. Once the sauce has thickened like this, I then added in the chicken and I think I let it simmer for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. I didn't really time it. I just kind of let it simmer. Also, make sure you get both sides. At first I wasn't and then I'm like, oh no, I need to flip these around. Make sure all the chicken gets a really yummy sauce on it. I am serving it with just some um, spaghetti but I think you can do it with some rice or potatoes or really whatever you want. My kids personally love spaghetti just with butter and salt. So I figured this was a great way to give them the chicken on the side and then some pasta. Um, Bobby and I are happy because we got the pasta. Oh, and I sprinkled some Parmesan on it. That wasn't in the recipe I saw either, but it just felt right. You know, sometimes you're making something and it just feels right. And I am still a Wisconsin girl at heart, even though I live here in Florida. So adding a little bit of Parmesan sprinkled on top. This is me just cutting it up, like I said, for the kids. They like buttered pasta with salt, um, and they get weird with textures, so this is just a good way that I sometimes not mixing it together is just easiest for them. They'll be less picky about something, and on this night, they loved it. They ate all their chicken. They ate all of their pasta. Um, but they do get sometimes weird about if I make rice, like I'll always put their rice on the side and do it with butter and salt. Even if meatballs were supposed to go on top of it or something. Um, same with pastas. If I'm doing anything with pasta, I will have plain pasta and they get the toppings, but they always get it on the side. They just seem to eat it better this way. And it really doesn't matter. They're still getting everything, just not exactly the way I would plate it for Bobby and I. As you can see, they all dug into the noodles first. <laughs> this is their go-to. If I am ever in a mood not to cook, buttered rice or buttered pasta is always a win for them and makes it really easy. Um, and I've definitely done that before where I'm like, you know what? I'm not really hungry and I don't really feel like eating. So we're going to just do some buttered pasta for our kids because sometimes that is real life and realistic. Um, but now just plating up Bobby's plate. I do plate Bobby's food most nights, not every night, but most nights. Um, I don't know. I, 
I have had some people say that is like, I don't know, old fashioned, um, but I enjoy it. Like if I cook a good meal, I like plating it up and like serving it the way I had planned to serve it, if that makes sense. So I enjoy plating it up and then making myself a plate as well. I wanted it all served on the pasta. When I was making this, I was like, well, this makes sense. Like it's a really good, rich, decadent sauce. It just makes sense to be on pasta. That way you don't lose any of that flavor. However, I will say this is definitely something you guys are going to want to try. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's called Marry Me Chicken. So if you want an actual recipe, look up Marry Me Chicken. This was so good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna end it here because I'm gonna take a shower. I also have to shower Freya um, and get all of that stuff done. But then that's pretty much it for the night. We're all just gonna relax and start getting ready for bed and just the basics. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, but I will see you next time. Bye.